Ukrainian troops struck one Russian S-400 anti-aircraft missile system near Zankoy town, as well as two S-300 anti-aircraft missile systems near Kornomorsk and Yevpatoria cities in Russian annexed Crimea Peninsula on the night leading to June 10, the general staff of Ukrainian armed forces reported. Due to the successful combat work of the defense forces, the air defense of the Russian invaders in the Ukrainian Crimea suffered significant losses, the general staff stated, adding that none of our missiles were intercepted by Russia's air defense. Ukraine used at least 10 Adikms missiles, none of which were struck, during the attack, ASTRA telegram channel reported. Four radars were damaged as a result of the overnight Ukrainian missile attack on Crimea. A soldier of the 31st Air Defense Division was killed and six were wounded in the attack, the source said. Four missiles hit the 31st Air Defense Division site in Zankoy district where two radar stations were damaged, and one serviceman was wounded, ASTRA said with reference to emergency services in Crimea. Another four missiles hit the location of this division in the Saksky district, where military equipment was damaged and a serviceman was wounded. The amount and degree of damage is being determined, ASTRA said. Two more missiles hit the location of the 31st Air Defense Division in the Black Sea region, a few kilometers from the village of Gromovo. Two more radars, two S-300 systems were damaged, one serviceman was killed and four were injured in that location, the source said. Putin brings his daughters into politics for his safety and their family's future. Kremlin leader Vladimir Putin began to drag his daughters, whom he always tried to avoid, into politics and the Russian information space publicly. According to the Times publication, the appearance of Putin's daughters in the public sphere indicates the desire of the Allies to bring their children into the system to guarantee the loyalty of the regime. Western analysts believe that the presence of the children of Kremlin elites at public events is a strategic step to ensure the survival of the regime in case of need. The spread of Russian influence in the modern world is influenced by the appearance of Putin's daughters at international events and forums. Bringing the children of political leaders into the limelight can be a strategic move to ensure the longevity and stability of a ruling regime. The eldest daughter, 39-year-old Maria Vorontsova, is an encrinologist. She spoke at the Russian Davos. The youngest daughter, 37-year-old Katerina Tikhonova, is a manager and dancer but took part in a round table dedicated to the military-industrial complex. The appearance of two adult daughters of Putin at the same event is the first public incident. Their growing publicity indicates that the children of Putin's allies are playing an important role in business and government, as their parents apparently seek to provide mutual protection, the publication said. It is noted that in addition to Putin's daughters, other relatives of the Russian elite were also present at the forum, in particular Ksenia Shoigu, the daughter of the Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Roman Rottenberg, the son of one of Putin's oldest oligarch friends and partners in hockey, and Alexander Vino, the son of the chief of staff of the leader of the Kremlin. At the same time, the article's authors, referring to the words of Ben Noble, associate professor of Russian politics at University College London, emphasize that this does not indicate that Putin's daughters are being prepared to succeed their father. At the same time, the scientist added that the increased visibility of the Russian president's daughters is intended to ensure that they will not be trampled when the system develops and is passed on to the next generation. It also ensures Putin's survival if circumstances force him to relinquish power. Political scientist 
Ekaterina Shulman said in an interview with the Bloomberg agency that, in her opinion, Putin's allies seek to drag their children into the system in case things go badly, since the sanctions will make it impossible for them to go to school and work in Western countries. This is a way for Putin to ensure loyalty to the regime on the part of these members of the elite, making sure that they know that they are taken care of and that their children are taken care of, Ben Noble emphasizes.